So everyone, today we'll be looking at aggregate query functions in this session. And just some count and criteria, how to use where clause and logical operators and or not in Microsoft Access Query to accept the data. Okay, I will close this table, close this query. We'll close the tables also. Now, just to give you an overview, we have two tables. One is student and one is student info. So the student is having official record, student info is having a student personal record. Now we are going to create a query. We'll go to query design, add student table, add close. Now, our question is, okay. I am sorry for this. Okay. So our first query, our question is, show the data that is having student records with fee higher than 2000 pound. Now how to achieve this one? You will go here, go to SQL view. Select the static sign from student is already there. Okay. Now the question is that show the data that is having student records with fee higher than 2000. So this is our criteria fee higher than 2000. What we will do from student where student dot fee is greater than 2000. Run the query and you have seen these are the record 20,000, 3,000 pounds. Again go back to SQL view. Okay, I will just omit this part just to show you what was the difference. So other students are having 2000, 2000, then one is 20,000, 3000, 2000. So we have put the where clause where student dot fee greater than 2000. Or you can include greater than equals to 2000 as well. Depends on the requirement. All of these records are appearing there. What we will do in the query, for example, we will change it 1999. Save. Okay, we will say QR by where. This is your example from here. Now I will run. Okay, this is the thing. Go to SQL view greater than or equals to 2000. Run the query now. You can see the student who's having 1999 fee. That student record is not appearing here. So, this is how we use where clause. I will omit this one. Okay. Now, select count. student ID how many total students we are having and total students we are having seven you can see how does it uh, uh, appearing as exbr 1000 means expression what we can do we can put a reserve word as total students Now this head is appearing as total student. We have seven. We'll go again back to SQL view. We have counted student ideas, total students from student. Okay. Sum fee from student. It here as total fee total fee that need to be collected or whatever so total fee for all the students total students are 7 and total fee is 32,999 so this is how you can use sum and count function you can use other functions also and I'll be showing you later on some few more functions which are very useful 
particularly when we are we have to show uh, this data on a form or on a report so then these kind of uh, queries are providing us benefit to solve that purpose this is okay the other question okay now we'll look at logical operators and or not i will remove this one from student okay now logical operators are being used normally with the where clause where student dot fee equals to 2000 and now this is a logical operator and CTID equals to uh, city is not there so, and grade ID equals to 2 so this means that select only those records of the students who are having fee 2000 and they are studying in grade 2 run this query so you can see grade ID 2 and 2 we have only two students who are having fee 2000 go back to SQL view so we have seen this one 2000 now I'll put OR operator now remember in AND operator where we are having this one so we call this this is as a condition and that's another condition both conditions must be true if any one of them is false then the record will not be selected now we'll change it to OR So this means in simple language that show us the records of students who are having fee equivalent to 2000 or if they are studying in grade 2. Run the query. So now you can see that once we have done this now or means that here fee is 2000 grade is 2. Fee is 2000 but grade is 1 which means only one condition became true so that's why the record is selected now here fee is 3000 which means this condition is false but we have put condition grade ID should be 2 so this record is selected see again the impact I will change it back to and and check it again only two records because both conditions must be true as if we put or so either one of them is true then the record is selected okay now we'll show the third operator logical operator where student fee not equals to 2000 run the query okay so based on queries logical operators with the where clause we can have the filter data as per our requirement go to design view okay, now you can see in earlier previous sessions also I have seen the criteria so here not equals to 2000 this is the criteria is coming go back to SQL view select start from student where student dot fee not equals to 2000 so other than 2000 all the records are showing there so this was the objective of this session. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you have any confusion or comments on this. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.